Hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back to Old Man in the Land of Grills. And, and yes, here we, we've got the Pillow Pro Sidekick out. This is a portable pillow grill from Smoke Daddy Inc. Folks, uh, this, in, this is, if you're looking for a portable pillow grill that's well built and it's going to last you a long time, huge hopper, uh, this thing has got it all. PID, uh, PID controller, this thing's got a lot going on there, folks. And we're rolling smoke on a pretty cold day. It's in uh, low teens here in Wisconsin. And we're going to try something different on here. And you're saying, Tom, what are you going to try? Jeff? We're going to try grow grates. So I've got several sets of grow grates. This is the oldest set I had. And it came with uh, Rectech Pell Grills. Used to make, uh, they call it the Rectech Mini. And uh, I bought these for that and found out today that, uh, you know what? They fit on the Pell Pro pretty gosh darn nicely. So we, we've got a cowboy steak. Yeah, it's a ribeye on a stick, more or less. Two pounder that we're going to reverse here, get some smoke on it. And uh, once we get it up to 100 ish, and we're going to pull it off, grow grates on, turn this thing on high, and uh, see how much of a sear we can get on a pellet grill, on a portable pellet grill. So smoke that egg. Well, there she is, folks. Uh, it's a ribeye on a stick, is basically what it is. A cowboy ribeye. Sam's Club, this is two pounds. I paid 26 bucks. Uh, prices are coming down a little bit on meat. In fact, that's the only thing that um, the last time I saw one of these uh, was in Florida. And uh, it was bigger than this, but it was also 80 bucks. So when I saw 26 bucks and I know it's two pounds and it's got a stick and everything, I said, oh man, I got to have this. So Montreal seasoning, that's all I put on there, folks. And uh, I'll tell you what this Oh, it's, it's, it's pretty gosh darn thick here, I'll show you. Um, yeah, she's got some thickness to her. So th this is perfect for a reverse here. And on a pellet grill too, and, and on the pellet grill sidekick. So let's get it on. All right, you can see where we're sitting here. We just put the uh, ribeye on a stick on. 177 is where we're sitting. And uh, like I said, we're gonna take this up to 100-ish internal. And then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, so far, so good. on Everything's been working just fine on the uh, Pellet Pro. Cold isn't bothering it at all. In fact, these small little Pellet Grills, to be honest, I would think they would thrive in this kind of temperature. Right now, we're in the uh, in the teens. You can see they put a little holder on there. They hold the lid up. Gives you a little bit more head space, but it also helps to cool it off. And I understand that version 2 may have some daisy wheels on the top to uh, try and do the same thing. All right, uh, the Pell Pro, I'll tell you what, once it dials itself in. Low smoke on this thing is 160, and we've been bouncing right around between 150, well, you see we're 154 now, but 155 and 160, and it, it is 12 degrees, so obviously on a smaller Pell Grill, the colder temperature does help help it out. Take a look at our steak here. Like I said, we're going to probably take this up to maybe 85, and then we're going to bump this up to high. We're going to put our grill grates on. And oh man, I'm getting hungry. That's gonna, well, I'll give you a look see once we start to sear. In fact, we'll show you what the, uh, we'll use the uh, infrared on the grill grates to see how hot we can actually get them. All right, we got the Pell Pro set at 435 or 431. High on this thing is 450. You can see our lid is reading 450. So let's uh, take a look at our grill grates and see how they are doing. It, it, they've been on for about 10 minutes. Terminal here. Let's just see. 503. So, right around 500, we're ready to sear our steak. Oh man, <laughs> I'm getting hungry. All right, let's take a look. See, it have been a minute and a half. Give it a little turn. Give it another uh, two minutes. Give it a turn. Let's. Oh man. Yeah. On a pellet grill. Can you imagine that? Keep on going, give you a look, see. No, oh, man, ain't that beautiful. Let's, uh, I know, <laughs> I want to take a look at the inside too. Got these new knives. Did you, you, you watch the review of this? These uh, Lancelot, I tell you what, they're very, 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 very nice. So we're just gonna take it off the bone here. Like, like, like this. Look at that. What do you think that is? PMR? I know so, somebody's gonna, gonna say that that's probably not, but it sure looks like it to me. Take a taste test here. That's definitely medium rare, if not rare. 
Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Gee, oh, that's very nice. Done on a pill grill, on the pill pro, on, on a portable pill grill. Uh, uh, folks, <laughs> check out, I'll, I'll leave the link down below. Tom Horseman at YouTube. Thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, can't say it enough. Thanks for watching.